Hello and welcome back to Boxer Gaming and today we're going to do quite a bit. Now first of all I upgraded every single barrel I have into the upgraded one so that's pretty nice. Um, my quarry, oh, I stopped it because uh, all my systems were getting overloaded. I still have to upgrade it which we will do um, sometime next episode. You can see it's still going sand coming out of there. Uh, almost done though with the crack sand, that's good. Right, so the first thing I wanted to show you was um, last episode my sword broke, so I made a new one. Uh, I actually made two new ones. One was a disjunction four, which is kind of useless, and then I made this baby. Look at it. That's just sick. <laughs> it's just insane. However, uh, I almost broke it because I got my cow one almost full now. Uh, I just saved the last one to do on camera now. Um, but then I tried to repair it, and this happened. Put your sword in there. And I usually put two ingots in there, right? Too expensive. I'm like, what the hell? So I've tried that, but apparently you just have to put one in. It repairs this much. Look at that. That much. For 39 levels. <laughs> I can't do that. It, it's, that's just insane. So we definitely need a mob spawner, right? Um, and I have quite a, a loving relationship with one of my mob spawners. Um, that I really, really enjoy. Uh, and that's the, the, the basic, very simple one. It's not the most effective one. I used it on my Skytech as well, but I really like it. Uh, I'm going to use the same one, but I'm going to upgrade it. Look at that. Now, the first thing I just want to do is maybe kill some of these cows. Uh, I don't mind breaking this sword because it it's too expensive to maintain. I can just get another one once I get my XP one. Yeah, this sword is kind of useless. It's not useless, it's really good, but the problem is... Uh, if a cow dies using fire, you don't get the um, the soul shot thing on it. So uh, it's not very likely that it'll do that. But oh, just Bobby's left. Oh no. So we need just a few more, not many. I've got so much uh, leather and stuff. I might actually have to set up another barrel uh, down in my basement just for leather. Um, but, you know. Ha! There you go, ha! Okay. So, I'll leave this for just after. I'll do that off camera. Look at all these things. Cool. Uh, how many do we have now? Yeah, I'll get the last 20 something uh, when they spawn. Uh, but once we wait for that. Oh, by the way, the cool thing about that sword, because it had fire aspect on it, it cooks the steak. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, let's just uh, put all that stuff in there. Cool. The first thing I want to make is a solar helmet. Uh, and that's because I'll be using a jetpack mostly for this build. So I want to be able to charge it easily. Now there's two two different ones. There's the first, which is uh, very simple to make. And there's the second, which is the ultimate one. It takes... It's end game. It's after quantum armor. So we're not going to go for that. Um, so for this baby, uh, we're going to need to make a solar panel. And if you watch my ticket, you know that I always... Where's my... I had coal dust somewhere. What the... Oh, there we go. Oh, one more. Uh, that I always mess up the recipe for this. For a solar panel. Hang on. Um, so we need two electronic circuits. We need a generator. How do I make a generator again? Do I have any cobble? What? Oh, there. Let's make a furnace and a machine block. Um, machine block. There you go. And I think that's pretty much all we need. Oh, and a battery. And a battery. Do I have anything for that? No, I don't have a battery. Thing. Tin. And redstone is in here. Oh, not much. Okay. We might have to fix that sometime. Uh, but for now, this will do. Boom. Battery. Uh, there's a battery on top. I cannot remember this. That there, and if it's there, yeah, generator, cool. And then we do that, I believe, with the two circuits. Oh, there we go, solar panel. Now for the solar helmet, we need some more iron, that's easy, and some batteries. So, where's my batteries here? One, two, three. Iron around it. Now, uh, this thing will make enough. Um, energy per tick to be able to <laughs> oh, look awesome don't I 
to be able to maintain steady flight with a jetpack. So that's pretty cool. That is pretty handy. Okay, so that's one thing gone. Uh, let me go and kill some cows and then I'll be back in a sec because... Uh, yeah, I might have to go find some. I know there's a few that went over here. Um, you might have noticed I put my jetpack in hovering mode. All you do is uh, you hold N or whatever your uh, mode switch key is and then you um, press space and that disables or enables. And it, what it does, it makes you go up slower, but it also automatically lets you uh, slow fall. So, you know, it uses quite a bit of energy and it's not really good for going up very fast, but it's good for sort of staying at the same height and stuff. It's quite nice. Uh, okay, so I'm going to just go find some more cows. Um, and then I'll be back in a sec. I think I need another 20 or so. That's, yeah, that's quite fast. Cool, back in a sec. All right, all done. So I got a lot of leather again. <laughs> so I made a saw cage and um, that's cool. That is very cool. Um, cool, so we got everything that's out. Now I also want to get some red aloe wire, which... Oh, we don't have much. I uh, might have to make some more later, but for now that's fine. And a receiver, which I'll show you how to make, and a transmitter as well. So receivers, uh, actually let's go for a wireless, that's probably easier. Get them both on the same page, cool. Um, the receiver is a obsidian stick, wafer, two wires, and a receiver dish. And the transmitter is the exact same thing except for a transceiver. So for the transceiver, we need an R E for pearl, and the stick is just two pieces of obsidian. That's easy. Um, now for the why did I close that? For the pearl, we need redstone and glowstone and an ender pearl. So okay, it's not that bad. Uh, I don't know how many I need, but let's say that a stack of glowstone, got an extra stack of redstone. I probably turn my quarry back on again, but. That's okay. All right, let's just make this baby first. I think it's like this. It might be the other way around. In which case, I am sorry. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Two of those. Take those with us again, because um, we don't use it much in... Uh... Oh, obsidian, of course. Duh. Uh, should be in my building blocks. Holy. Ho. Where did... Oh, a quarry. <laughs> Awesome. Take a whole stack just in case. Let's make two of. Let's also make a chest. I'll show you. Actually, make two chests. I'll show you why later. Okay, so let's make a couple of sticks. Because they're handy later on as well. Uh, and we need four of these. And we need a couple of. The, I can't remember how many. Alright, so let's put these here. This here. Oh, the dish. Oops. I need the dish. Uh, so the dish is a wireless transceiver and a stone ball. So let's make the wireless transceiver first. So I believe it's just like that. Yep. And a stone... How do you make a stone ball? I actually have no idea. Ah, oh, okay. Duh. I had cooked stone here, didn't I? I just need the one. Bam. Done. Beautiful. So that and that makes a receiver dish. I need another stick. Okay. Fine. I think good that I made some extra. Uh, that there, and that goes there. Wireless receiver. And then that goes here. And there. Hang on. Oh, another stick. Really? Ah, uh, perfect. Okay. Now these things I'll show you how to uh, how to make them. They're very uh, hard to use them. They're very simple. I would also like some levers. Maybe... Oh, just the one for now. Later on we'll, we'll make another one because um, I did that again. Because we're going to use those. Okay, cool. Now this is not the whole build yet, but... Is it getting dark outside? Yeah, okay. Let's take a nap. Hover mode disabled. Okay. Uh, we also need a lot of glass. So I'm thinking to make it completely out of glass. I think that would be pretty cool. Oh, uh, that's probably a bit too much, but hey. Sue me. Let's put that away. That as well. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, let's go up and I'll just show you what I'm thinking. So 
But first of all, we're going to have a, the same shaft as normal, but I'm going to do it a little bit differently. Um, in that this, of course, is going to be open. But, see, that's the problem with uh, hover mode. You don't go up as fast. It's a bit hard to see because it's glass, so I sort of apologize for that. But I'm thinking different heights because cows, they need to fall less high before they die. So I don't want them to die. I want them to survive the fall. So um, the cows are going to spawn on this level here. So what I'm going to do, and actually I have two buckets, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Let's just make a infinite water source here, shall we? Uh, just there, maybe. I've got this. Even with hover mode, it's pretty difficult to control, to be honest. Come on. Oh god, this is horrible. Ah, oh, there we go. Beautiful. I'll remove this, of course, but I'll need quite a bit of water here, so... Beautiful. Beautiful. So, the water is going to flow down from here. Yep, all the way here. So, they, the cows are going to fall, and the cows are coming from this area. So, my idea is... I'm going to show you shortly to make water on all this row here so that the water goes exactly to the end so all the cows fall in there drop down and then they get killed off by something which I'll show you later and from the bottom it looks kind of cool as well I kind of like that it's pretty cool um, yeah there's gonna be cows falling in there and stuff that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be pretty cool now and then so this is on this side and then probably a bit higher for skeletons for example I'll make another one on this side like right where I, where I am now so it's gonna be like a like a staircase up with mob spawners. I think that's going to be cool. I think that's going to be pretty cool. Okay, so let me uh, finish this glass house and then I'll be back in a sec because this uh, might take me a while. Um, I did sort of draw it out and I think it's going to work quite well. Um, now the other cool thing about uh, the normal mob spawn is a bit slower because you're going to have this area without water and you're just hoping that they eventually walk off and fall down here. Um, but here we can put water because we're not waiting for natural mob spawns. We actually have um, the spawner. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so I'll go finish this off and then I'll be back. Okay, welcome back. So this is uh, this is done, this room. I know it's hard to see with all the glass, but bear with me. Um, now we're going to put our soul cage up. Uh, let's see. Now I don't want to activate it straight away. So maybe we should... Uh... This is 8x8, eight eight, so it's I can't make it in the middle, but you know who cares. Uh, I'm just going to put it right there. Okay. So, what we're going to do then is we have to break this. Now, glass, of course, as you know, cannot, um, you can't put anything else on top of it. So, I'm just going to use obsidian there. And the other thing you can do, what I tested this on my test world, is you can put a wireless receiver on a um, block. That just doesn't work. Uh, you have to do this and then put a a red LED wire over it and that will disable it so you know that's not too bad right so this we're just gonna set to one and the way this works is that you have a receiver and a transmitter just for those who haven't seen my ticket one uh, you have a receiver and a transmitter when the transmitter gets a uh, redstone signal um, this thing will give it off as well so it's completely wireless which is very cool um, so that will of course turn the spawner off so what I want to have is downstairs uh, there's going to be a lever saying cows on or off, um, skeletons on or off, you know, all that sort of stuff. That's pretty cool, I think. So, cool. That's done. Um, let me just make the bottom area, maybe. As you can see, I'm sort of floating down. It's pretty cool. Now, I, um, I should tell you, by the way, I counted this. This is 11 high in between. So, this is the the 12th one and the floor will be the 13th one so 13 high if you count the floors uh, of the ground and this part so uh, and that seems to get them to very low health but still surviving so that's good uh, I guess the, the negative part about this is that skeletons during the day will actually die because they get sunlight so I actually have to think about that I didn't think about that before <laughs> cool so the next thing we want to make and we go home is um, something to kill the mobs but also drop experience. Now there's two ways you can do that. The first one is the easiest, that's what I'm gonna use, and that's called a, a mining turtle. Uh, not a mining turtle, a melee turtle. The other way you can do it is using the iron golems from um, from Formcraft. However, you need uh, to upgrade them with tiny visor or something, uh, else they don't drop XP, so yeah. 
<laughs> That's a bit annoying. So let's uh, let's see if we can make a turtle, shall we? Turtle. What's that? Oh, the teleporter. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so we need a computer and two chests. Well, one chest, but I want to make two turtles, so you know why. Uh, I made those chests before I have them. Yeah, I do. Um, and let's see, iron, which I have enough of, and cool. oh, I have cooked so nice, and a glass panes. I think I have those. Yeah. All right, and redstone. I have here, maybe. Yep. Okay, so glass panes. I have no idea. I'm just doing something before I look. Okay, completely wrong. As usual. <laughs> so, put these here. And some redstone in the middle. And that makes us a computer. I'll make two of them. Okay, cool. Then we need a chest. And what else? Some iron, wasn't it? Yeah, iron, computer chest. Okay. So, computer chest and iron ingots two turtles now next to a uh, turtle we want to make it a melee turtle so we need a two diamond sword oh what the hell what the it's <laughs> a bit weird so we need some sticks Good question do i have any sticks yeah oh cool it's nice as a random chest uh so let's make two swords and then we combine those swords with a turtle, and that makes us a melee turtle. Yay! Now these things will kill stuff, and they will also drop the XP and the items, of course, as well. Uh, now, apart from this, what we're also going to need for a successful build is, let's see, uh, some pipes and some engines. So one or two. Let's get three retinue engines, why not? And a wooden transport pipe. Yep. And maybe some cobble as well. I don't know how much, but we'll just get one. Cool. Um, now, let me just go off and make... Actually, maybe I can do it fast. Let's see. Ender chest. Uh, blaze rods will... Okay. Let me go off and make this... Um, and get all the stuff. Because I have everything, but I have to go pick it up. And we have quite a bit of other stuff to make yet today. So, um, I'm going to be back in a sec. Okay, welcome back. So I think uh, I think I did it. Uh, I think I'm pretty done. So the first thing I want to do is set the wireless transmitter also on the frequency one, so that they are connected. And for now, I'll just put a, a lever here because we don't have any other mobs yet. So that'll do. And uh, the next thing we want to do, uh, I took all my glass away. And I didn't even have to do this because I can turn the turtles manually. But hey, what are you gonna do? So two turtles. Now these turtles can both attack up and and down, so uh, they can attack mobs that are on them and attack mobs that are in front of them. So that will work quite nicely. Uh, as for the program, let's see, edit uh, mob spawner. While true, do, so it pretty much means, you know, while something is true, keep doing. Um, if turtle.detect then uh, turtle attack. All right. Now the problem with this is that this will only work for um, uh, detecting. Only works for the front. So we also need to do detect up. So let me just uh, finish this off, and then I'll show it to you again. It's uh, it's going to be very simple. So back in a sec. Save. Okay, and I'm back. So I just set up these retro engines. Now I know that we can get a turtle to drop items down, but then I'd need to have two, and I don't know, just gonna be bothered. So <laughs> we're just gonna do it this way. That's fine for now. I might change that later on. Okay, so the program is very simple. Uh, if I can remember how it worked, how was it? Mob spawner, I think I called it. Uh, so this while true do if turtle detect, then turtle attack. If turtle detect up, then turtle attack. Now. Uh, I could do this in one if statement, I think, but uh, there's no real need for that, so that's fine. So that will keep running. Now, the also, the other thing I did was um, edit startup. And in there, I said shell.run mobs one. So anytime I start the game, this will run. Oh, just a little tip for you guys. It's kind of handy. Right, so let's start this baby as well. Hope it doesn't... Um... Okay, I did something wrong already. Great! Yay! Uh, I didn't refill them. It's probably out of fuel. I don't know if it'll attack without fuel. Oh, good question, eh? Probably not. Where's my torches? 
I should put a, put a wrath one here as well. I'll cover it all up nicely later on, by the way, don't worry. Don't you worry. Okay, let's just see if this works. Because I can always turn it off, remember? Where's my... Oh. Um, so, let's um, go all the way here. Put down the water, actually. I forgot, I forgot that. Um, where's my buckets there? Bucket. Bucket. Water. Water. Bucket. Bucket. Let's see. There. There. And it's getting dark, which is not the best time to do this, but... I reckon it's just going to be alright. Okay, there. There. And there. And there. Is that an equal flow? Looks like that. Cool. So now, all we do is get our soul shot here. Boom. Cows. Now I'm just very curious to see if the turtles work. I think they might... No. I think they might need... Um, yeah, they might need fuel. Okay, let's turn that thing off. <laughs> Whoops. It's okay, cows. It's okay. Ah, God. How do we stop these things again? I completely forgot how to stop them. Uh, <laughs> okay, let me be back in a sec. I'll just make sure I can stop them. <laughs> Okay, we're back. Whew. Uh, I had a little bit of experimentation. Uh, apparently... Ow, that turtle kills me. Uh, turtle dot, uh, detect does not detect mobs anymore. I'm fairly certain it used to in tech it. Uh, I think I used that a few times, but... You know, I also killed all my cows, by the way. <laughs> uh, that's okay, I can't get close because these... These are just set to attack continuously at the moment. What I'll eventually do is put a pressure pad here. Uh, and maybe something on top as well, so that any time a mob gets anywhere close, it'll start detecting. Uh, there might be an add-on or something for computer craft that I don't know yet. Um, that might do it as well. So, for now, it's just um, going all the time. So, um, I just changed the program to well true due to a little attack. I know there's an attack up as well. You don't actually need to use it. Uh, it does still attack up, so that's fine. Um, what we do want to do is go into Lua. And just pop some of these blaze rods in there now. Uh, of course, this system, it's a bit stupid because it pulls out the blaze rods, but it doesn't use that much fuel. And if you put blaze rods in there and refuel it, it takes forever to empty. And at the at, at the moment, I just want to run this because I want more XP so badly. Um, and of course, cows are not the best way to get XP, but there you go. Still better than nothing. Now look at that spawn so far. Oh, it does spawn up. Hey, that was not supposed to happen. Uh, okay, I know why that is. That is because this is not fully closed off. But but once I get enough glass to do that. Uh. Oh, yeah. So they're not actually dying. It's a turtle killing them. I might actually put a, uh, a small delay in it because that's a bit ridiculous. That it continues to do so. Maybe once every half a second or so. Or every second, maybe. Although, once there's more spawners in there. Oh, by then, I'll change the program anyway. So, yeah, I'll change it to once every... Hey, why does it not pick that up? That's weird. It's a bit weird. But the experience is... Uh, it's okay. It's not much, of course, because this is a cow spawner. But it'll do for now. Cool. So, let's keep this... Uh, let's turn it off. Now, one thing I want to do is keep this on at all times. Uh, even when I'm not here. And to do that, I just researched uh, something this morning, and that's why I'm sort of building this now. Uh, I still haven't fixed this. Oops. <laughs> um, ooh. I got... Where is it? Here. Discovery brain in a jar. You've been gathering rotten zombie brains for a while now, but with a discovery of water jars, you think you may know a way to give them back a spark of life. Or at least on life. Cool. Uh, let's get my former Nomicon out there. Uh, where is it? There. So... If we just use that, a brain in a jar. So we need infusion altar, of course. We need zombie brain, water jar, spider, spider eye, and some water buckets. Oh, those are easy. I probably want to get two of them, I think. Do I have any extra water jars? Jars? Did I use them all? Oh, I got two. Beautiful. Uh, spider eyes. That should be easy. Four of them. What else? And that goes there. That goes there. What am I missing? What am I missing? Tell me. 
Oh, the brain, okay. I should have plenty of those. Four? No, I haven't. I have I have one in my inventory. I should be able to. Four more. What the? Hmm. Cool, anyways, uh, what we need? Malum, Animus, and Cognito. Okay, Cognito, we'll just get from this. Get four, four of those. Um, sorry for the mess in here, by the way. Uh, soul sand can give us the soul and spirit. Ooh, soul and spirit. Soul sand. Soul sand. Don't make me run back home. It's not in here, is it? No. Yeah, I know. Don't look at me. Uh, okay, let me get some uh, soul sand from my main base and also something to get the uh, malice from. Guess I can get nice no, not enough. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. Yeah, there we go. I've got 10 more here in my uh, sorting system. Uh, so I should have enough now. I've got the rest that I need as well. I think. Oh, it's not. In, uh... Okay. Uh, and I need that for the malice. Um, I would have preferred to get some gas tears, but I don't really have the time to go and farm some. And I don't have any, if you can believe that. Uh, anyways, let's see. We need four for each one. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that's one. All we need to do is throw it in, I think. So let's try. Oh, sorry. Sorry, little one. Uh, four of these. Eight of those. Four of those. And that should. Give me a brain in the jar. Yeah, let's make another one. This one. This one. Uh. <coughs> spider eye. Our oh, bucket, of course. Did I get my empty bucket back? Yeah, I did. Uh, spider eye. Nice. So, there I've got the... Ow. Stop doing that. Four, eight, four. Yeah, come. Beautiful. I uh, don't like it as dark, but I guess I can't do much about it. Now, these... I'm going to have to move this uh, quite badly. Well, we'll just put them there for now. So you put these down. You can hit them like that. Um, what was that noise? Is that the brain? Oh, God, they look at you as well. Oh, God. Just waiting for some uh, cows to fall. And I'm not going to stand there. So uh, supposedly all the um, XP is going into these jars. You can uh, sort of see it, but it goes a bit fast. And... Oh, let me kill this bastard. Bam! Die. What's that? Why are the cows not falling? See, they're all jumping around there. That's a bit weird. Oh, there they come. So now, if I just hit these things with right click, it'll drop me all the XP that it caught. There we go. So now I can just go away. Let this go around. I'm not sure if my chunk loader covers this, but I'll make sure it does. Uh, let me get this stupid cow off of here. Off you get. I'll keep this here for now because I, I might want to make another one soon. With a skeleton, hopefully. That works beautifully. Now, these will run under fuel and all everything, but that's okay. You know, we can just right click. Oh, yeah. So, even though the cows don't drop much XP, Trust me, it'll be enough. Once I go away and go mine for an hour or whatever I do, uh, after I come back and I open that, that should be pretty good. So, I am very happy with that. And that's the main purpose, actually, for a brandy jar. I don't think it does anything else. Get out. So, that's good. Now I can um, easily get 30 levels a day by just keeping this on for a few hours or whilst I do all my other work, you know, because I do usually play in this world maybe a few hours a day just to... Uh, do my bees and everything. Um, so if I could just keep this on, even with just a cow spawner, there's a lot of experience. Like if I just get it out now, I'm sort of early 31 at the moment. That's half a level. That's 32. So it's one and a half levels in what, two minutes of talking. Pretty good. Pretty good. I can enchant a sword again now. <laughs> Beautiful. So that's that. Um, Next episode, I want to get a bit further in uh, IC2 because there's some really, really cool suits and armors that we... Oh, God, I'm actually almost dead. Hang on. <laughs> uh, really cool armor that we can get. So, uh, I want to get that. Now, I also, I'm going to place some more barrels. I do have them already, I think. Yeah, some. I've got some extra dimension barrel upgrades as well. Uh, because we're getting a lot of bones and 
All that rubbish, you know? Uh, yeah, there we go. So there's leather, uh, not bones, of course, we don't have skeletons on them, but leather, uh, meat, which is going to get smelt, uh, cooked up. You can see that. Actually, that's going to fill up really fast, isn't it? Let's have a look. Yeah. I had quite a lot already, but that's pretty sick. Cool. Hey, guys, I'll leave it there. Um, next episode, we're going to do some uh, ICT2, like I said, because um, we can get some really cool stuff. And I want to get myself started on a quantum suit. We might not finish it on one episode, but at least get started on it. Get some more... Oh, yeah, I dropped items in there. Uh, get some more interesting stuff going. So we're going to do that, and I'm going to cheat here a little bit. Oh, wait, this is not two levels. Okay, never mind. I don't cheat. <laughs> All my, all my other floors here, they're two layers, like this. So I thought I'd just pick one of them up. That's okay. Alright, I will see you next time in episode 27. Thanks for watching.